Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're looking at an update and this update integrates Google Meet with Google Classroom. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now we've been waiting for this one for a very long time, but Google is finally rolling out an update that fully integrates Google Meet with Google Classroom. So let's just have a look at it right now. Now here on the student view, you can see that prior to this update, these students would see a link that was shared with them just as so and then they could join a meet. Now that's different since the update each classroom can have a dedicated meet room. So let's go ahead and have a look at the new teacher view. I'm going to open up this other tab with the teacher view and we're going to go to Google Classroom. Now as soon as I go on to Google Classroom you will see that there is a notification at the top. Now this notification tells us that the update has been made available. Meet Video Chat is now available in Google Classroom. So we're going to go to those settings. Now here you'll see there is now an additional setting for your classroom. We now have Meet Settings. That means that I can generate a Google Meet and this can be visible to students. I can also switch this off which means they can no longer see this link. This is great when you're trying to schedule out your time and you want this meeting link only available at certain times. So let's go ahead and click on generate a meet link. Now the great thing about this is that you can also refresh this. So here I now have this special meeting link. I can copy this or I can reset the link. So after a meeting, let's say that you want to refresh everything and have a brand new page, simply click on reset and you get a brand new link. Now I'm going to copy this link and I'm also going to make it visible to our students. We're going to save these settings. And now in addition to the class code at the top corner, we also have our meet link. Now I can click on that link and then as a teacher, I will dive straight into my meet room. You can see here the camera is starting and I can begin my meeting. Now I'm going to close this for now and I'm going to show you the student view. So let's go back to our students. This is what our student now sees. You can see they also have that link at the top and there is no teacher present in this room right now. So let's go ahead and click on it as a student. And you can see the student can join that link. It does give them a little notification here that no one else is there. We can join and the meeting has started. So if you want to prevent students from joining that meeting before the allocated time, simply turn off that visibility switch. So let's say that I don't want my students to be able to just join at any time. What I will do is I go back to my teacher's view. I will navigate to my settings. And then under the meet, I will simply toggle this off. I click on save. And now because I've toggled it off, my students cannot see that link. Now, one thing they can do is if they have an external copy of that link is they can paste it in a new tab. So what I would suggest is after your meeting, you simply reset the meeting and then make it invisible. This is a huge update that is going to make it so much easier for classrooms to just simply go online leave a little comment and say come and join me in the meeting and click on that link at the top. This will also save time in terms of generating different links and the fact that you can reset the link and also make it invisible helps a great deal in terms of student safety. Now when you are having a meeting with your students you want to make sure that every student has left the meeting make sure that you are the last one to leave that meeting and then immediately go to your settings and reset the link. I hope you found this helpful if you did make sure to scroll down into that comment section below. Let me know what are your favorite functions within Google Classroom and do you like this new integration with Meet? Are you using Meet? And if you want more information about either of those, there will be some links in the cards at the top. In the meantime, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.